Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on one of these fun videos. This is my lovely client, Dasha. Uh, she does bite her nails, so as you can see, they are a little rough and uneven uh, by the edges. But today we are going to do a complete transformation and we're doing extensions. So I'm starting off by using our corundum cone bit. After our cleanup, we're ready to apply our dehydrator, and then immediately I'm applying a thin layer of our base coat. Then I'm sending them off to dry underneath the lamp. I'm using plastic forms today instead of uh, typical paper ones in order to create our arch. The only drawback is that they do sometimes come unglued. For creating that square shape, we need to have our form upward so that when we're building the thickness of the apex, the tips still remain thin. I am using the lines on the form to apply the poly gel, however, do be careful to pay attention to the nail itself, as not all nail plates are the same and even. After creating that background and letting it dry, I am proceeding to the following nails. Some of the nails are a little too square on the free edge, so I will need to cut the nail forms just a bit. Now just to compare our nails and then to start creating our volume. I'm adding a blob of material in the center and then spreading it out. Spreading it out a little to the edges by the cuticle, but leaving that main amount in the center. Then from the center, more specifically from the apex, I'm pulling the material toward the tip. Once I've completed that, I'm letting it cure underneath the LED lamp for 50 seconds at 48 watts and then placing our nail clip on to avoid any sharp ends. If there is a lack of height at the apex, I'll add just a bit more material, let it dry, and then once more apply the clip. It's super important to let them finish drying with the nail clip so that they'll take to the right shape. To create that perfect square, we need to file two parallel lines, and those two parallel lines are met together with the above arch. There should be a straight line from our apex to the tip of the nail, thus the nail file should be able to lay on top of the nail evenly without any bumps. If there is any excess, make sure to file it down, leaving the nails beautiful and even. 
Further, I'm filing down the tips and checking them to make sure they're even. By looking at it from this angle, we'll be able to see any thickness. If we've placed the nail form on evenly and correctly, the lower arch will turn out flawless. I'm cleaning up the cuticle area with my nail drill and not a nail file in order not to tear up any of the surrounding area. I had wanted the end's thickness a little bit thinner, but the most important part is that they all turned out even and look amazing. How I've missed this gorgeous arch. I know they don't look the most natural, but it's art. After the video and of course some pictures, I will have to file down my client's nails, as this won't be the most comfortable for her. After having coated her nails in a matte finish, I'm using a gel paste in creating this simple yet stylish design. I absolutely loved doing this manicure. It's kind of like a French manicure, um, but with a little twist. The result was simply beautiful. If you liked this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.